Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Clover Soft Touch Crochet Hooks. These are hooks, um, this style I've been using for a long time. I've used them in lots of my crochet tutorials. And several of you have asked about these hooks, maybe if you haven't tried them yet. And I will say this is the first kind of uh, ergonomic style hook I ever tried. And I really love them. I've been using them ever since. I use them a lot. And um, they have a, a regular uh, kind of standard top, like a regular crochet hook. And then the handle is a little bit wider and it is plastic and it has this thumb rest on it that has a, a, a rubber um, kind of grip on there. Now the bottom part of the handle is a little bit tapered so that it doesn't have a lot of weight or bulk when you're holding it in your hand. I normally use the knife hold or the knife grip when I'm crocheting um, if you've seen any of my other videos. However, uh, once in a while, especially if I have to make a lot of chains, I'll do um, what some call the fork hold where you kind of hold it like this where you throw your thumb on top instead of your hand over top of the hook. I'll hold my hook like this, and I find that it's equally comfortable. It has a nice uh, feel and a nice weight in the hand. So another thing about these hooks is um, the top. So if you look closely, this, this hook has a tapered style versus an inline style. Now I have an inline hook here just to show you, um, you know, to demonstrate, but the inline hook, you can see it has a, a kind of a flat throat, almost looks like it's carved. And then the tapered style has a nice smooth top. So I just wanted to point that out in case you do have a preference. Um, I like to use both for different types of yarn, but they do have a tapered top. Now this is kind of a, um, a satin finish. It's very, very smooth. You, the yarn glides very smoothly up and over the hook and through the hook. It doesn't have a very pointy top. Some hooks like the one I just showed you have a pointier top if you like to kind of get into the stitches with that. Um, I don't find that that's an issue at all. It's nice and smooth, has a very nice fluid movement, no catching on the yarn or anything like that. I will point out that I purchased my uh, Clover Soft Touch, and I just grabbed a few. They come in a lot more sizes than this. Um, I grabbed, uh, just you know, just a handful, but they all come in this same brown and gold color. So if you're not into this color scheme or you want lots of colorful hooks, um, you know, they, I just wanted to point out, they do all come in one color. Um, it doesn't bother me. I like it. They're very, very comfortable hooks. I really enjoy them, especially if I know I'm going to be in for the long haul and have like a major um, crochet session where I'll be sitting down and working for a while. So, um, so anyway, that will just uh, give you some information in case you were wondering about these hooks or if you've never tried them. What I would recommend, if you're interested in these hooks, is to maybe find one size that you use a lot. Um, and just buy a single one. They're not very expensive. They're very reasonable. And um, I'll put a link on there too of where to find these hooks as well in the informational part at the bottom of this video. But um, again, what I would recommend is um, maybe just instead of investing in a set to start, you could just uh, try one out and see if you like it. And then later, you know, what that's what I did. I started off with an H hook because that's the size I use quite a bit for projects. And I started um, using it and liking it more, so I added on to my sizes. So I hope this video helped. I hope to give you a little bit more information about these hooks. And if you have any questions, just um, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.